Hey, my Leos, and welcome to the first monthly Zodiac series of videos that I'm doing on this channel um, for the month of February 2022. If you found this video and you don't know who I am and I don't know who you are, just imagine the synchronicities, the possibilities of you finding this video amongst all the digital noise, which means welcome. You're supposed to be here. Um, and um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, I'll do um, a spread for you, starting with a court card here. See how you are showing up into the month of February. The Knight of Swords. All right, that's who you are today. And for the month of February, the Knight of Swords. Um, making a lot of fast movement, right? This is the fastest energy of the tarot, the fastest of the knights. Leo, I can't seem to get any intuitive hits on just that, so we'll keep going. If anything, it's almost just like the void, uh, as in wanting time to move rapidly or wishing for time to move rapidly, and so you're sort of streamlining yourself maybe to get through this month. I don't know what you have going on this month, what you're trying to get through. Uh, the opportunity, the Ten of Swords. Okay, Leo, maybe you're you're having a, a tough go of it, honestly. And that's why you're sort of like, wake me up when February ends, please. And uh, the challenge, temperance, patience. Interesting. Leo, what are, the, what are the blessings that you have in your life right now? I feel like that's the question Spirit wants me to ask you is, what's going on that's making you want to sort of close your ears and go la la la, la 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 la? Because that's sort of what I see you doing, like you're maybe not really wanting to deal with a painful situation, whatever it is that you're dealing with. I feel that I can vibe with that because it's also... You know, I'm in Chicago, so we get pounded with a bunch of snow in the month of February. And it's really hard just to be out in the world um, and to be navigating a city in the conditions that we're in. And a lot of people are hi hibernating and trying to stay indoors and be cozy uh, most of the time and just sort of like, yeah, they've got a little bit of a countdown until um, summertime again. Uh, but you could be anywhere in the world. So how does that resonate for you? How does that translate into your world? Um, the, just this idea of like wanting to m move quickly or breeze through um, a situation that is difficult. Um, there's a lesson there for you to learn. So what are you here to glean this month, Leo? I don't know. Let's see if the tarot will tell us. Strength, there you are. There you are. You want to be in your essence. Maybe you feel out of your power right now. Mm -hmm. The sun underneath um, your foundation. Um, Six of Pentacles in the past position here. And the wheel in the future. Yeah, you know, there's a bit of... Um, This, this reading feels like a bit like February is not your month, going to be honest. What is going on in your life that makes you feel like you were once happy and now you're, you know, in a place of why can't I get this back? Uh, maybe you're dealing with um, some kind of mental health um, issue in your life right now. Uh, or struggling just with your mental health and trying to see the positivity of the moment because the wheel is here and the wheel just it goes up and it goes down and so you might be experiencing the bottom but just you have to remember that the wheel goes back up and so in the face of fear right or you know this is this is the equation of strength the strength card fear plus compassion for oneself is strength and strength is Leo, and that's you. So what are you not giving to yourself right now? Some, uh, either the benefit of the doubt, 
that you can um, handle this period of time with ease and with grace. That's me. Um, you know, the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning, Leo. Let's get some more information. Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Justice. The Hierophant. Look how quickly things turned around for you. Uh, first of all, I will just say that if you need something, uh, say something. Right? Um, you have the power to speak compassion. Um, as in, what? Um, I just love this idea of like extracting fears and anxieties from the body in a in a real way by simply saying them out loud so they're no longer like taking up space inside of your like vessel okay and getting it outside of you so there's something to that in terms of like processing something and so you could uh, simply be repeating mantras to yourself to get you into a positive state of being um, you could be saying stuff like you know I deserve to be happy I deserve um, you know, my own compassion, I, you know, there's, so there's something here about positive self-talk, um, bringing you into balance, um, I think you know that this will, this is going to happen for you, and so you're sort of, I think you're practicing this, um, I'm sort of getting that this is something you're already doing, because the Ten of Cups is here, and on this, on this, um, in this artwork, there's a sun here as well, and so that's very auspicious as well for you, Leo. You're seeing this as an op the opportunity that, that it is, this opportunity for growth to um, work on maybe a new skill of what to do with yourself when things don't seem so so good around you. This is a new way to build yourself up, your own resilience. That's your strength. You know, justice and the Hierophant coming up here, is there like a legal matter or a marriage or something that is causing some sort of worry or that is putting to bed maybe something... Um, something that's withholding your joy, something that's withholding your happiness, something like that. Um, also, I see here the Six of uh, Pentacles also has the Justice Scales. So, hmm, are you on like, I don't know, like some sort of like federal financial support system? Like, uh, food stamps or like um, I know we all got those stimulus checks if you're in the States we got stimulus checks like uh, what is this about there's like a theme of institution in here um, and then there's also heavy themes of like your own sort of power right your own essence the sun strength the ten of cups here with the with the sun in it and this opportunity, this new opportunity or a new beginning. Hmm. Maybe you're getting into law. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe you're not getting into law. Maybe you're becoming an advocate. Um, this feels a lot like today's, um, the daily reading that I did today as well. Um, a similar theme of you, this thing that you're able to process for yourself, Leo, whatever this icky thing is, that becomes your source of strength. Um, as in, that's the well to pull from now to bring out into the world, speak truth, speak justice, and become an advocate. 
the wheel turns, there's cycles. Also, this idea of recycling. You recycle the pain and out comes this strength, this skill, this tool that you have for initiating change in the world. You're showing up also as the Ten of Cups, you know, the fulfillment, fulfillment and opportunity. Seeking your own fulfillment leads to this opportunity of advocacy. This is sort of what I'm getting. Um, so let's look at um, well, before we do that, in the hopes and fears, justice, right? Like we got to sort of look at both sides of that coin. A fear, a fear might be that you are, you don't feel ready to step into this position of advocate because you may feel like you yourself are not totally fulfilled or not totally healed. I love this idea that you're showing up as the Ten of Cups and your opportunity is the Ten of Swords because to me they feel incredibly linked as well that what's holding you back from being totally fulfilled is that sometimes this ten of swords energy creeps back in this is like the negative mental cognitive sort of behaviors or just like our, our thought patterns how we talk to ourselves to say i'm not ready i'm not ready but i think that you are ready i think you know how to sort of get yourself there um, and strength and compassion to me also means as your challenge the temperance to me is saying you need to be a little bit more patient with yourself there's some days where you're going to feel like you got this other days you won't feel as prepared you can ask for help say what it is that you need um, this feels like definitely give me some themes of like mutual aid or something like that um, I wonder how does this resonate for you Leo let me know in the comments if, if, if something is, says anything to you speaks to you uh, show me more about this wheel okay what is the wheel the queen of wands Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Double Ace. Interesting. So, first of all, Ace of Wands is sort of like a yes card. So, whatever the last thing I just said was, was sort of like, yes, this, this idea of mutual aid. Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I think that you, uh, wow, look, one of her things is lit. I just, you know, I'm sort of mesmerized by the artwork, and that's why I'm not saying anything. Uh, this is the golden thread tarot. See how one of her sticks is lit, but the other one is not. It's still growing. And that's a one, one, one. So again, another uh, a theme of sort of self-mastery here, as in you are the student, and you're you're learning at the same time as you're teaching. That is the role of that advocate, um, right? When we turn around and we say, I've dealt with this, or I, I have experienced this kind of pain in my life, and so now you become a, um, a worthy advocate for others who uh, deal with the same thing. So it's all, and, and this is the wheel as well, is like there's there's times when you need to sort of speak up, when people need to know and hear your opinions and your story. And maybe that's why there's this institution here, because I think that your story maybe can be powerful in, in swaying a decision, perhaps. That's why maybe the Queen of Wands is here as well. Influence, passion, power leading to some sort of new beginning, the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. And so I do believe that this is um, some sort of new trajectory for you. Although death didn't show up, this is definitely um, some sort of transformative thing. 
I feel like this is a situation that will take time, even though for you in the moment, it will feel like it's all happening very quickly. And so that could be a source of some anxiety. And to that, Leo, I just say one day at a time. Okay, this is a monthly spread for the month of February. Take it how, is, how it resonates, leave the rest behind. If this makes you think of somebody that you know who has Leo in their chart, uh, this is a special message for them. So uh, share the video and like and subscribe. Uh, I don't know if I said this already in this video, but like if you found me through all the digital noise that's out there, uh, bless you because this is totally new. Um, I really enjoy doing it. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Um, and I hope to see you back for another one in the future. So take care for now and I'll see you later.